the Burj Khalifa, unraveling the secrets of the $1.5 billion skyscraper. As you may know, the magnificent Burj Khalifa, constructed from concrete, steel, and superlatives, is Dubai's main attraction. The city is overflowing with glitz, glamour, and five-star treatments. Since it opened its doors and viewing decks in the star-studded event in 2010, you may have heard a few things about it, but we're going to share some fascinating facts about the Burj Khalifa that you might not be aware of. Hello and welcome to our channel, Arab Money. In today's video, we are going to discuss the Burj Khalifa and unravel the secrets of the $1.5 billion skyscraper. So make sure to watch the video till the end to find out more. The Burj Khalifa, the tallest structure in the world, is regarded as a model of international cooperation, a sign of progress, and a representation of the young, dynamic Middle East. But what precisely did it take to erect the current highest standing structure in the world? Few of us are aware of it. The Burj Khalifa serves as evidence that Dubai is no longer only a local marvel, but also a metropolis with global recognition, whose place in a rapidly evolving globe is always being reassessed. The city has grown exponentially during the past three decades as a result of skill and human inventiveness. And those who started the project wanted to promote Dubai as a region where people could do anything they set their minds to, banding together, breaking records, and setting new standards. So let's talk about some of the most interesting facts and secrets about the Burj Khalifa that will make your jaw drop. Burj Khalifa's Architecture Despite its height, the Burj Khalifa stands out on the Dubai skyline due to its distinctive architecture. Architects from all over the world were asked to submit their designs, but Adrian Smith was chosen to build the Burj Khalifa after the plan was put through several safety tests to determine its structural soundness. With this extremely efficient design, only half as much steel is needed as with other constructions like the Empire State Building. The curving three wings of Lake Point Tower caught the attention of Burj Khalifa's builder as he was looking out of his office window he realized that this was the ideal design to use as a starting point for the Burj Khalifa. The interior arrangement was altered numerous times by the architect to fit the building's shape. Finally, they gave the structure of the building a name, the buttressed core. Other elements of the design are inspired by Islamic architecture, like the Great Mosque of Samara's spiraling tower. It is thought that the building's shape was influenced by the Hymenocallus flower. The structure of the building is made up of a central core and three different wings. This skyscraper's Y-shaped modular architecture helps to give it intrinsic stability and enough residential floor plates. At the summit of the central core is a sculptured spire. So when we analyze its architecture, we can observe that the Burj Khalifa's cloud-piercing elevation is one of its most outstanding features. And did you know that the Burj Khalifa towers at 828 meters, more than twice the height of the Eiffel Tower? Construction Beginning in January 2004, construction on the project employed 111,000 tons of concrete for the foundation. Beginning in May 2007, the external cladding took two years to complete. Additionally, the project's execution required about 380 technicians and engineers. At the beginning of the project, they were able to install about 20 external panels every day. By the end, that number had increased to 175 panels per day. The building had to be strong enough to survive the extreme heat of the desert and weigh tens of thousands of tons. In contrast, during the summer months, ice was added to the concoction, and it was poured at night when the air was cooler and more humid. This occurred because cold concrete cures more uniformly, which reduces its propensity to crack and set too quickly. Another one of the most amazing features is the building's component weight. You can think of the concrete as being equivalent to 100,000 elephants in weight. The amount of aluminum needed for the Burj Khalifa weighs about five A380 aircraft. Now, if you haven't already been there, you must be wondering, what's inside the Burj Khalifa? You wouldn't believe it, but the Armani Hotel is located on a few of the building's levels. It is the only hotel in the world that the renowned Giorgio Armani has ever created. The hotel is the result of Armani's desire to bring his sophisticated lifestyle to life, and it showcases his unique taste for pure elegance, simplicity, and fashionable comfort. The Armani homes, which are several levels above the hotel, are designed for long-term inhabitants, have the same exquisite attention to detail and air of refinement as the hotel. Then, on the 122nd floor of the structure is a space called Atmosphere, which has a restaurant, dining room, and lounge. As you can expect, the view that goes along with your dining experience is breathtaking and offers views of both downtown Dubai and the Arabian Gulf. The level with one of the highest observation decks in the world and an outdoor terrace is called At The Top. 
Once there, you can utilize one of the telescopes to view Dubai in greater detail or take advantage of the amazing 360-degree views that are available. There is a telescope for augmented reality that lets you see your environment in real time, while digital graphics are superimposed on top, allowing you to experience the environment in different climates and seasons. The corporate suites, which house offices for corporate high flyers and probably have the best views in the world for a workplace, are located above the observation deck floor. By using the elevators at the at-the-top level lounge, you can get to this floor by going up to the sky level on the 125th floor, which has the highest deck in the entire globe. The building also includes the world's longest elevator ride, which goes for 140 stories and is also among the fastest in the world, with speeds up to 10 meters per second. As you can imagine, moving across hundreds of levels of buildings is not particularly difficult. The tower's height allows its tip to be seen up to 95 kilometers in the distance, which is another interesting fact about it. The building's piles extend 50 meters into the ground from the podium. The cladding method employed in the construction of the structure was developed to resist the sweltering summer heat prevalent in Dubai. In addition to this, due to the Burj Khalifa's enormous size, there are spaces known as sky lobbies, each of which has its own amenities such as spas, gyms, swimming pools, and halls for conferences and events. The Burj Khalifa is praised for its eco-friendly attributes and resource management. The building systems collect more than 15 million gallons of water each year, which is then recycled all around the structure for things like irrigation of the garden, watering the fountain, and use in the cooling system. It is said that the building's air conditioning system produces enough water to fill about 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Award-winning interior designer Nada Andrek was responsible for this Burj Khalifa's interior design. Along with stainless steel, glass, and polished black stones, it has handcrafted tapestries, Venetian stucco panels, silver travertine flooring, and travertine. Over 1,000 works of art are commissioned from the Middle East and international artists, and they now cover the walls of the structure. The selected artwork symbolized international cooperation and the bonds that bind nations, people, and cultures. Now that we know all about the inside of the Burj Khalifa, what is seen outside of the tallest skyscraper? The parks and gardens that surround the tower are the other lovely features of it. A man-made lake and areas where various events, including fairs, concerts, exhibitions, and fashion shows are often hosted are also present. The parks are great for cycling through the different rounds while enjoying a picnic and city views. So be sure to immerse yourself in Dubai's local culture and its shimmering, towering epicenter on your next vacation, whether it's during the day or night. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be back soon with more amazing content, so stay tuned. And don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our latest updates. Thanks for watching.